Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2020 Tropical Bowl with New Mexico State linebacker Javon Ferguson. Appreciate you taking time, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I've been following your game since your junior season. Yes, and sir. it's interesting because they talked about New Mexico State linebacker, and I'm thinking, like, okay, it's this guy. But it was your teammate, Hanks, who went down to the senior bowl. But both of you guys were really good linebackers. Exactly. And a lot of people don't understand how good the talent was in New Mexico State because they didn't see it translate to wins. But exactly. Can you explain to the folks out there, you had Larry Rose, the running back, you had yourself, you got for Hanks. For sure, for sure, for explain sure. Explain to the folks how good the talent was in Las Cruces. In Las Cruces, like, we always tell people we're, we're a bunch of diamonds in the rough because it's one of those schools it's hard to recruit for New Mexico State and, uh, and I give the coaches credit they got us down there because it's hard to sell to a kid from Louisiana or Florida who you know that's where most of the talent is I'm a little biased right. <laughs> but uh, that's, where, that's where all the that's where all the big dogs come from and uh, it's hard to sell to a guy to come across the nation to mid-major school and just try to you know try to make that selling point but uh, coach Doug Martin got us all every every guy you just named he he recruited us he fought for us and he got us down there in Las Cruces New Mexico and I'm sorry, but go ahead. No, it's just I was just saying he 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 did a great job of just convincing us. And once we got all got down there, we we found out it was a bunch of diamonds in the rough. Because not only did he get you guys down there, but he developed you guys into pro talent. Well, like, how big was the development at New Mexico State to help put you in a position where you are now? You're an NFL prospect. Exactly. Uh, for what he what he preached to us and what kind of made us what we were to were today is uh nobody else wanted us and he put he kind of put that chip on our shoulder mm -hmm. and uh, when you got that chip on your shoulder and you you got it for four years it's kind of hard to not accomplish what you want to accomplish because like it like I said he he did, he's the one that gave us a chance and he preached it to us every mm -hmm. day he was like a lot of guys here didn't have that many D1 scholarships and I gave each one of you guys because I came and found you I came and saw you which was true and you can't you and, and he helped build that chip on our shoulder so that's what that's what the development came from that chip that work every day that that work ethic to prove everybody wrong that didn't believe in us before. Now you're a linebacker and I was a college running back and I feel like our positions have been under attack in this <laughs> game the last couple of years. They exactly. say running backs don't matter mm -hmm. and they kind of treat you guys like that position doesn't matter. Everybody talks about edge rusher mm -hmm. and then the secondary. But how critical is the linebacker even to this day in this uh, in this day and age of football, you're being coached out by one of the greats, exactly. Marvin Jones. So how yes, important is this linebacker position? Uh, linebacker for me, I'm like I say again, I'm biased, but I feel like it's the most important part on the field, on the defense, and uh, vice versa, running back, because you can change a game. It's just as important as a quarterback who touches the ball every play, or a wide receiver who can change the play in one play. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a specific job in the machine, but a linebacker, each play you can affect it in some type of way, whether it's a blitz, coverage. It's the only position on the field where you can affect every single play. And running back, vice versa, you can block, you can be a decoy, mm -hmm. you can actually get the ball. But it's just one of those things that uh, the game's changing, but it's, it's always it always comes back full circle. That's always in life. Uh, history repeats itself. So they're going out to the spread saying the edge <laughs> rushers are the coolest guys on the field. They're getting all the big contracts and stuff like that. But uh, I feel like it's always going to come back full circle because football football is going to be football no matter you know whatever changes and whatever time does the football is going to be football you always need a middle linebacker always so, <laughs> yes sir <laughs> uh, you look at your game and i like how you play on on all three downs you do a great job in coverage and also in mm -hmm. stopping the run where do you feel as though is your strongest asset as a player? And also, where do you feel as though people are still sleeping on your game? Uh, my play recognition is amazing. Because I say, and, I, and I'm a little cocky when it comes to that, because I've been playing football since I was three years old. Okay. I've seen every play to be, you know, ran on the football field. So I kind of take pride in that, especially being a middle linebacker. I set the defense up. I talk to my guys. I'm the one out there kind of running the show. So uh, my play recognition is next level. And I think, you know, that's kind of hard to, if you're not in my, on my team or in my mm -hmm. program, it's hard to know that. It's one of those things you only get to experience. So I feel like that's one of my strongest suits. And uh, one of the things I just want to, like like you said, I was slept on a little bit, is I'm not, I wasn't encouraged much at being at New Mexico State. I was the Mike linebacker. Right. I was always plugging the A-gap or doing something tough. So uh, I, f I feel like I'm, I'm a Louisiana boy. We all can cover. Right. So uh, I just want to show that a little more and, you know, kind of get on some of these shifty guys. That's why I'm out here at the Tropical Bowl, just to show I can move my feet a little bit. Now, you are at the CGS. And you out here at the Tropical Bowl. Shows you got a pass for the game shows mm -hmm. this is important to you you want this to be your vocation for an extended period of time mm -hmm. two-part question one how critical are these all-star games for you and second what is it about the game that you love the most um first part the uh 
the thing about these games is, is it's talent. It's talent everywhere. And people think if you don't go to one of those big three bowls, you're not part of that talent that, that has a chance to go to the NFL, which is not true. And that's one thing I've learned out here that, at these games with the CGS and the Tropical. It's guys everywhere. And, and it's hard for a scout to go pick everyone that can play in the NFL. So it's, it's guys who slip through the cracks, just like Coach Martin always preached to us. He's the one who gave us a D1 scholarship, and now we have a chance to play in the NFL. Same thing, going to the next level. Mm -hmm. So it's guys who can play football everywhere and uh that, that's what these games kind of gave me the opportunity to do it put me against some of the top talent in the nation without going to one of those big three bowl games yeah. you've yeah. been balling out man and listen i've been following your career you did a great job in on the field in new mexico state mm -hmm. you're doing a great job here you did a great job at cgs and we just wish you the best luck moving forward yes, man. keep that smile up <laughs> you're louisiana guy i'm a louisiana guy keep it up man thank you for the opportunity thank, thank you thank you